It's the mat work. Are you collecting people's emails? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've I've only got like my my list is short at the moment, but yeah, I've got I've got an email list. Yeah, bro. Do you, like, I mean, we both drive. That's like a dope way to do it, bro. Like. If people and mm. that billboard thing that I do, it makes it so you're not forcing it on them. But if they're interested, they can they gonna ask you about it, bro. And then whenever people do that, if they like my music, I got my little notepad. I just hand it right to them and put the email in, bro. Like it's just uh, an easy way to get at least one fan a day, bro. Like if you drive, especially if you're driving a lot, like mm. I would definitely recommend it, bro, because it's an easy way to not be too like you're not like pushing it, but it's right there in their face if they want it. You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, that's a good idea, man. Because I know on the I don't know about. Uh, the Lyft app but on the Uber app you can put a little profile and write a little bit about yourself like mm -hmm. so I haven't even done that yet but because I'm kind of new to it still but I'm going to probably put some information about my music on there but right. yeah that's a good idea man thanks for yeah, that you just, you just said something you just said something very key man uh, one fan a day mm. I think that's amazing um you get one fan a day. How old are y'all? I'm 24, about to be 25. Uh, I'm 28. How, so check this out. If you get one fan a day for two and a half years, that's going to put you at about a thousand fans. Not a thousand followers that aren't really fans. A thousand fans. How many times does a fan listen to your music a year? A what bunch. If they really a fan, they listen a to bunch. it a lot of times. So let's say let's say let's say each fan gives you three hundred to five hundred streams a year because they're a fan. Yeah, that's reasonable. You know, so they might listen to they might listen to about one song a day. Right there. What do you got? If you got a thousand fans streaming you that's three hundred thousand to five hundred. There you go. Yeah, bro. That's a pretty solid base number. Yeah. And from and then from those numbers, you're in position to just naturally grow. Mm hmm because that's what happens when you're breaking into like the quarter millions and those type of numbers. You, you're putting yourself in a position to discover, to be discovered. Um, and that's really where you want to be. Yeah. Most artists, most artists start off with about a thousand real fans. And then from there, it just naturally increases. But the natural part, you know, everyone mixes it up and they think that the natural part started at zero. Nah, the natural part started somewhere around a thousand fans. Maybe it was 15, maybe it was 750, maybe it was, you know, maybe it was 2,000. But that, that first initial, that part isn't natural. Everything after them 2,000 fans or 1,000 fans, you know, that's all natural. You know, that's interesting you say that, man, because I've been thinking about, um, and I know it's a difference between followers and fans, but I've been thinking about, like, on Instagram, um, since I've been, like, because I, I dropped two songs this year, like, in the past couple months, since I've been, like, dro I got more music, but it was a while ago, and I wasn't really thinking business, but um, now that I'm, like, dropping more, I'm getting more and more followers, and I'm about to hit, like, a thousand, and I know that's not a lot at all on Instagram. But I'm thinking, like, all right, well, at a certain point, like, it becomes easier to get in, like, to at least get in front of people's faces. And I'm wondering, like, how, how do I phrase this question? Like, how do, I, how do I get to a point where I can, like, leverage it? Do you think that the ratio makes a difference? Like, like no, no. you, know, so you don't think it matters? A lot, of, a lot of artists get it fucked up. Mm -hmm. they, they get really over obsessed with the number of followers they have mm -hmm. when that's not the number that's going to make labels or investors not smart investors at least um jump right listen if 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 if, if you got if you got a hundred thousand followers right right 
and you post comment below da 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 uh if 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 you ready for my next project comment this flame emoji right mm -hmm. and 200 people comment the flame emoji right right and then i got 5000 followers compared mm -hmm. to your 100 and i say comment flame emojis if you're ready for my new single and i get 200 comments i mean more that means more mm -hmm. <laughs> i'm yeah. way more in position to get a record deal than you right because they're looking like if he could command that with just that imagine mm -hmm. if we put the money behind right so a lot of people get obsessed with the number and they'll have, you know, 13,000 followers, 15,000 followers, 20,000 followers. But when they say comment below, they get 30 comments. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, they missing the point. Right. They like Shaq at the line. They missing the point. Because right. that's, not, that's not what the labels is actually looking for. They're looking for how many people actually move when you say move. Right. That's mm -hmm. really what it comes down to. And yep. the number of followers doesn't actually matter in that conversation. Right. It's you the know? number of people that's engaged with you. That's, that's, that is the main thing, my nigga. There are niggas who are music industry favorites who will blow up in the next 12 to 18 months. And uh -huh. they have about 5,000, 8,000 followers, 10,000 followers. Very low numbers, bro. Very mm -hmm. low overall numbers. Mm -hmm. But you look at their comments, there's all these famous people, there's all these like important producers and yep. room shakers and all types of shit. It's, it's, it's levels, man. And then there's niggas with 50,000 followers who have a bunch of eggs under their comments. You know, they have a bunch of like nice pics mm -hmm. with a thumb up, you know, like, and it's like. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> It's like, you know, it's not all created equal, man. It's not all equal, mm -hmm. you know? Um, and the engagement is what most artists are kind of um, not really understanding is the key. Mm -hmm. So they'll spend 10,000, uh, they'll, they'll spend money on like 10,000 fake followers just to boost that number. But in reality, it's like, you, 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 you must be doing that for your own ego or something because it, it's not helping nothing else. Mm -hmm. You know, so you must be doing right. that so that you feel comfortable at night. Because other than that, I don't know who else is like you didn't move the needle anywhere else other than that. Right. You know, so yeah, man, that that stuff. Don't get caught up in the number. Get caught up in the engagement. Right. You know, get caught up in the engagement. And the, the less amount of followers you have, with the more people you have moving, that's good. Right. You know. The more if you if you gain a thousand followers and you notice your engagement isn't increasing, that's mm -hmm. when you want to like actually be like a little worried. You want like what's what am I doing wrong here? Right. You know, versus mm -hmm. most artists where they just like oh the hell with that I'm getting more followers. Hey, <laughs> it's like that they they missing the point, man. <laughs>